Hello! I'm Necro, and today I'm going to take you through the Seeds and Adventures Tome items of Lake Eternity. Timestamps are in the description, so without further ado, let's begin! We'll be starting out at the Lakeside Fishing Spot Triport. First, you'll want to come up here past the Repairer NPC, and it right here up on these platforms. You're going to find the Frozen Guardian beneath the Lake Vista. He's not really below the lake though, is he? After that, we're going to run to the other side of the Triport, and run down to right here, to grab our first seed. Then we're going to start to work our way up towards the logging camp, which has a triport that I never activated for some reason. You'll want to come to this spot, and up on these wood platforms we'll find another seed. Moving on to the next section, if you make your way to about the center right here, you will find the logging camp and a small waterfall vista, which is just a really weird and contrived name. But making our way up to the next section of the map, you'll want to come to right here, where behind this pallet we'll find another seed. And then just beside the seed, if you investigate near this tent, you will start the hidden story to Arcilla's Lullaby. Then we'll run just slightly north, to right here, where we'll find and kill the Old Frost Ice Bear. It has a second spawn just a little further north. Then if you make your way here to this far east to dead end, you'll find a Forest's Minuet Blockade. This is the reward you get from the Lullaby Island quest. If you play the Forest's Minuet in front of these branches, the branches will recede, allowing you access to two more seeds. And after those two seeds, you'll want to make your way west to right here, where we will find the giant frostbane boar monster. It also has a second spawn up here at this point. Also over here in this tiny nook is another seed. And then a couple nooks down right here is another seed. Now we're going to loop around, and before we leave the logging camp, you'll want to stop right here and grab this book off the ground to continue Tarsila's Lullaby. Now we'll leave down south, this time following the east path, until you get to right here, where you can examine this egg to get a frost spider egg, which you can add to your tome. Then you'll head deeper into the cave to right here, where you'll be looking for the cold snap spider monster. Once again, we can find a second spawn of this right here. Then we'll head towards the Tarsilla marker on the map, on the west side of her layer right here. You'll see a small skull on the ground that you can investigate, and that'll finish up Tarsilla's lullaby for you. Then if we walk to the east side right here, we can find another seed. Eventually, you will have to come here and kill Tarsilla. As always, you can check your Procyon's compass at the field boss notification info here to see when she spawns. Moving on, if you make your way right here, you can find the vista for Tarsilla's ice cave. Then if you walk or teleport to right beside of the Nestil Triport, you can pick up another seed. Now we're going to head towards Brad's hideout. And before we start the dungeon, there's one more thing to mention right here. I've already done it, but these lumberjacks here will be able to give you the quest 8 legs. As you can see, this will start a long quest chain that will eventually lead you to the quest inside the cocoons. And this is one of the another story parts of your adventurer's tome. It's fairly straightforward, so just do it whenever you can. Once we're at the dungeon, we're going to check to see if we need any specific difficulties, like I do normal. Once inside, we're going to ignore the first objective and take a left here at this path, because in this room here, we will find our first seed of the dungeon. Now we'll head towards the first objective. We will defeat the guards, and we're going to start to take this long path around, until we get into the office here, where it's a little hard to see, but behind this desk we can find another seed. Then we'll continue on a little, until we get to right here, where we'll find one more seed. We'll defeat some more guards. Once you defeat Guard Captain Valdibal, you can check the bottom side of the guards' quarters here for a seed. We'll head towards the prison and defeat some more guards. Honestly, this dungeon is really uninspired compared to some of the other ones in the game. Anyway, you can take out Warden Alabar and open up this little door here. That'll be right here on the map. But as you can see, we will be finding another seed in here. Now that we have all five seeds, we can just go and finish the dungeon. And that'll wrap up Lake Eternity. Thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you at all, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We'll be heading to Iceblood Plateau next, so until then, that'll be all for me. See ya!